All right, this is the next move on repairing the cylinder head waterways. I didn't need to do this, but I'm going to because I want to make it as best I can. This, as you can see, is Mr. J.B. Weld. And right at the moment, it doesn't look pretty. Prior to applying the JB Weld, I did, as I mentioned in my previous uh, video, that I would heat it, and I did. Heat, heat, fill, fill. Heat, heat, fill, fill. Now, these waterways do not look perfect. But, they will look better. I try to keep them nice and neat. You know, I'm going to have to, as you can see, it's still early, still a little tacky, tacky, tacky. This is JB World for you. 24 hours. So, I will sand all of this off. Uh, may or may not show you, not sure yet. Maybe I'll record it, and if it doesn't look any good, I won't show you. So that's what's next on this head, is to come here tomorrow morning and sand these. And see how good or bad the filling has been. If I need to fill it more, I will do that. And something that... <laughs> Oh dear, I'm sorry. I amused myself way too much. That I, I uh, talked about was the little, um, I don't know what you were to call it, the, the, the well that wasn't quite right in my book. And I, I got my little Dremel out and cleaned it off. And I will paint this. So you really won't even notice it at the end of the day. And like, <coughs> you can't notice it. It's on the cylinder head, unless you've got your head in my engine bay, and you can bend your head in seventeen different directions. You're never gonna see it. This tells you what a oh, oh let's say a prick, an asshole. Whatever words you want to call me, guys, I don't care. I just want it right. I know it's wrong. It doesn't matter. Nobody's going to ever see it. But I know. And that's the thing. And that's how I work on my baby. My Mark II Jaguar. I, I can't afford to do it as I really want to do it, but I do it as best as I can and there are certain areas where I can do shit and yeah I, I can't pay somebody to do it so anyway that's it uh, you can criticize me as much as you like I don't care I just want to show you uh, the JB welding so far I welded this up last night with a good old JB um, and have sanded it down this morning using my orbital sander which is a lovely flat surface this I can tell you now is so smooth you would not apart from visually you can see it you would not tell there are a couple of places there's one there where I gotta put some more in and a couple over here so just got to do that a little bit more, and I'm going to put more in here and res reshape this so that we've got a, a nice uh, square hole. Um, I'm not sure where the gasket is here. Okay, here's the gasket that will the gasket that will live on there. And as you can see, <laughs> the whole shape really doesn't matter. But I I want to put some. Uh, a bit more meat on it but uh, it's pretty darn good this is lovely and flat as well get a little place there that needs a little bit more this one no, I don't think that needs anything at all and I will just clean up the inside of these holes 
as I said put a little more in here just bring that edge up slightly does it matter no <laughs> it's just me um, and I got a little bit of uh, weld in the holes there so I just have to clean that out and uh, run a tap through them just to make sure so looking good and then once I've finished that do the core plugs on the other side they're already in but I just got to clean those up then I've got to figure out, as I said before, about polishing this. I'm figuring I'm going to have to get some kind of buffing wheel and put it in my electric drill. But we will see. And then we will be able to paint it. And I will probably be painting in here with the Glyptol. I'm obviously avoiding the guides, but in this area where the oil flows and I'm sorry about my sniffing again guys um, where the oil flows it should have that glyptol all over it excellent yes all right next phase here we go secondary filling just a couple of little holidays I had holes so I'm filling those up. Once I've got all of this surface done, then I'm just going to reshape and clean in there as best I can. As I said, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and a little top tip for you guys. When you're using things like JB Weld or Epoxy or any of those things where you have to have two parts and mix them together, get a little pad like this. A piece of paper. You know, old scrap that you've got and then you know you wipe your tool on there afterwards and I mean this tool and that gets most of it off and then I just use a paper towel to wipe the rest of it off and then done finished throw it in the trash all right I just thought I'd throw that in and uh, one other little thing we'll get back over here to the block this is something else that I noticed that was done on previous uh, engines and that is that they highlighted this in white so I got myself a can of white paint and masked it up and sprayed it oh there she is I'm going to do the outer edge of this black because I've got some paint in there and it's hard to get out so I figured I'd just cover the surface and the front and then just paint the rest of that black and then the only way you'll see it of course will be from that view and those of you that don't like it oh dear Right, time to uh, move on to the next piece. I have just finished doing the second filling of these uh, waterways, I guess you want to call them. These are absolutely smooth. JB Weld, you've done your job brilliantly. I've reshaped the ports, but I, I haven't gone crazy. Just, you know, try and get the, the lumps out. Not that it matters. So that's how this is going to remain. My next task on this particular head, for this particular head, this head, I'm going to start painting the uh, surface here with Glyptol. It's going to take a while, I'm going to be very careful, I don't want to get it everywhere. So that's the next phase here. And then once that is done, then I will start painting here. And figuring out the polishing. And also, unfortunately, figure out what I'm going to do about the valves. This, of course, I can do before or after the painting. Okay, here we go. Ready to start painting the cylinder head internals so that we can improve the oil flow. Let's see how this goes. Don't be too bad. Do note, the head is not being damaged. It is on a nice soft towel. I'll also be painting in here 
as best I can. All right, this is the <clears throat> the other side done. Both sides have now got a coat from above. Um, I can't do anything until it dries now, and I want to flip it over so that I can get all of the angles in here with uh, with paint. And then once that done and dried, I'll flip it over again and give these sides another coat each. And then the arduous task of cleaning up to make sure I get all the paint out where it shouldn't be. Obviously on the edges here, but particularly on the uh, buckets. I want to make sure they're nice and clean. So that's it for the moment on this side. Just got to wait and flip it over and do the other side. As I previously mentioned, um, I'm going to mark and cut out uh, the exhaust uh, ports. And you see the lines there. This is where the gasket goes to, but as you can see, there's some meat left in the corners. And that needs to just be just ground off. And uh, do, do note, <coughs> <coughs> these gaskets, they can only go on one way. Try and put it on this way. See, it doesn't line up. That's because it needs to go on this way. Then it lines up perfectly. Okay, so just be aware of that and don't think you've got the wrong gasket. The, the gap's different here. Okay, because of these um, core plugs. Uh, it has to be offset to try and put it on that way and go, whoa, hang on a minute, no, the holes don't line up. Well, turn it over. <laughs> and then they all line up nicely. Okay, onward and upward. Oh, and do know I've cleaned up around these now. I will probably put some kind of paint on those. Um, purely because they'll rust otherwise. I don't want them to. All right.